the Sam Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole. But the real star of today's show is still the Fanatic Podium Wheelbase DD2, we'll call it, the Direct Drive 2. Um, I am ready to install this onto my rig, and in our timeout, I was able to take my Sim Experience wheel off, uh, prepare the rig for it. I was able to double check the bottom, so it is M6 hardware, as we discovered during that. I measured them off. And I'll actually show you a couple of pictures right here, but um, this is the pattern on the bottom uh, with the three holes, that being towards the front of the wheelbase. And then on my rig, here are here's what I'm dealing with, but if you see there are four holes, well, there's actually six holes in the middle, and the top two and the bottom two look like they line up for this wheelbase. Uh, so hopefully that is the case. Otherwise... We're going to need to do some drilling, uh, which I'd rather not do, to be honest with you. I'd really rather not. Um, audio is so low because I don't have a microphone to be able to run around my room everywhere. Typically, when I'm doing these shows, I either, uh, during reviews, I'm usually using a lavalier, which won't work with this streaming setup. The other option are my open mics. Uh, but the one that I've been using for this streaming computer, we went through this on the previous one, is a little far away. So I do apologize for the audio, but it's a little hard to have open audio that's going to follow me everywhere through an installation. I would have preferred using the Blue Yeti. You can see that, but that has become my racing microphone. Um, so anyway, uh, that's what's going on. One other thing that I didn't show you in the other, but I want to show you is on the back, this is the layout. And the reason I'm doing that is because once it's mounted, it's going to be hard for me to see those pin configurations for plugging everything back in. So anyway, uh, with no further delay, why don't we, uh, yeah, you might, I'm not going to get any louder than this for this show, except the outro video might be loud, so maybe I'll give you a little warning to turn things down if you do. Um, please ship to, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so let's get this on the rig. I'm going to try to do this in a way that I'm not blocking you, or at least as much as possible. Kind of hard. I mean, this isn't my normal... Uh, routine here. So I'm going to have to be in your way at some point, no matter what. I just realized I put the mouse in my way and this table's in my way. So this thing, again, it is fairly heavy. The box said it was 33 pounds in shipping. And so now I'm going to go ahead and get this up on my face. Now, finding those holes is going to be a whole other trick. Um, it's hard for me to, sh I know I'm totally blocking you right now. Uh, it should just be as simple as finding the hole. Um, insert your favorite joke. Oh, it'd be nice if I could see what I was doing. Even the slide. Oh, okay. We got one. There's one. Now, on mine, it's going to put this thing quite a bit back, but that's okay because it looked like quite an extension. Oh, it looked like it was going to line up. Is it just slightly missing? Oh, no. Boy, I don't want to have to start drilling. We do have one other option. Let's try something else before anything else. What I can do is take the plate off. So, we're going to take this. We're going to go like that. Then, we're going to completely remove this plate. I measured it, it sure looked like those holes lined up. Trying to find the center point on a hole is always interesting though. All right, now what we'll do is we'll try to line this up where we can actually see what we're doing. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm a little below you at this point. Um, that so much before my handbrake is going to hit. All right, you can kind of see what I'm doing now. How is it 
it's so close and yet so far away. Shit. Oh man, we're gonna have to do some drilling, you guys. I was really hoping to avoid that. I don't know what pattern this is. They, If they say this is a previous pattern, I really wonder which pattern they're talking about. So, I mean, I can get those two in, but I can't see these two holes. If I use the fanatic triangle. Ah, the triangle, that's what I'm doing wrong. Anybody saying that to me? There we go. We're only going to get three volts, not four. All right, no drilling. I'm just being an idiot. There we go. One. That also means that it's more flush with the front of the rig, and I like that. Number two. So we are using the triangle pattern. It just wasn't in the conventional way, or at least not the way my brain was thinking about it. Where did my other bolts go? And then number three. Whoops. So the RCS1 is pre-drilled for the Fanatic helium wheel mates. There we go. Make sure that's squared up. The line is straight. Well, those two would have been impossible to reach without removing the um, flat plate anyway. So that's good. And I am in a little bit of a hurry because I have a race tonight. So we are going to get this set up, I hope. Running, I hope. And then we're going to end this stream. And then we'll get to cool down and get ready for the truck race, which I haven't even set up the stream. Luckily, I already set up the room. Okay, so now we need to put this back up on gear. So, get some of these big hardware bolts in there. trial fit our sizing, get the get where we want it to be. All right, this is coming along nice. It's a big base. I'll get you guys some measurements. Get these headphones out of the way. Get my keyboard and mouse out of the way. Yeah, this microphone would have been better for today's purposes. Now, I'd like a little more angle on it. That's going to take a little more time to adjust. That's a little low. But it might have to do for today. Um, quite honestly, again, I'm a little bit under the gun to get ready for this race, so I might just... That would work right there. Tweak it later to get it perfect, but that'll work for a one race new wheel scenario. 
Uh, they warn you not to have anything in the back for 10 centimeters in order to make it cool. So I'm not going to be able to slam that up against my monitor. Uh, the gap that I have there looks to be plenty though. All right. Definitely smooth. Uh, the, between the weight, you can already see a little bit of wiggle out of the S1. This is about as strong as a chassis gets as far as one you can purchase. You can hear the magnetic shifters. All right, next up, let's get some wiring plugged in and turn this sucker on. So, we got a couple things here. Uh, we're gonna consult that layout. <laughs> Good luck hiding the boner. A um, little more angle on the dangle. Hey, Steve Clark, how you doing? Uh, all right, so we're going to bring up that layout real quick so we can see where this is going to plug in. And this first one is going to be the emergency stop, all right? Um, let's see. Actually, here, let me bring the picture down real quick, so... I have two different, um, the RJ45, the phone wire, the clicky phone wire. Can I get the monitors any lower? Uh, no. I need them a little higher. Every time I change something on my rig, things move around. This seat is higher than the seat that I had before. Um, okay, they're the same length. I just want to make sure it didn't matter which one went where. And so that second slot is where we're going to plug this in. So on the back side, we are looking for the second one. One, two, boom. And that's going to be our emergency stop. So I plug that into the second wire. And then that's going to plug into this sucker here. And they got a little thing to slip the wire around. And then mount it to your rig or put it on a table, whatever. I'm going to twist it so we're unstopped right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up would be the data. We need a data cable. RJ11. Those are RJ45. Oh, no. Yep, I called it right. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't scratch your new wheel. Okay. Um, all right. So the house plug goes in the back. If you remember the layout, it was the opposite side that I'm sitting on. And there we go. That's plugged in. I'm going to wait a moment to plug it into the PC, though. We're not going to do that just yet. Next up is going to be the power. So the, well, this is the wrong side. This goes to the power supply. Where is our power supply? Power supplies right here. Ah. Uh, for those running the truck race, the practice room did open five minutes ago, or should have. Um, this almost looks like a protective cover, but it is a white plug. So this plug goes into the back. Let's bring up the picture real quick. We can look at our, our switch direction, or our plug direction. And this is going to be the bottom right there. Yeah, just like a computer power plug. Do you see that? All right, so we're going to put that into this side of the base. Audio is going to be hard. There we go. Okay. And now I can actually use some tie downs to make this nice. No wires, no loose wires around here. Even, even in review mode, right? Or even in installation mode, we need to make it look tidy. There we go. All right, we still need to plug things in. Now I need my headphones, so let's not get them caught up in that wiring. And that's gonna go to the computer. The emergency stop goes over there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right, and then next we can 
plug the power cord into the power brick. And I have a cord sitting right, a power spot sitting right up here waiting. Boom. All right, we now have power. Not plugged into the PC yet. All right. Kill switch, torque key, we're not using that yet. To can bus, we're not using that. Power, pedal handbrake, we're not doing that. Shifter, shifter, not doing that. So we're all good to go on the wiring. On off switches in the back. Um, oh, and there's also a power button right here. Oh, did you see that? Oh! All right, now let's install the driver. I did download the driver already. Install, finish, restart the system, go ahead, all right, right now it just says Fanatic Podium Wheelbase Low Torque PC, that's what it detected, um, wish I could get a camera on that for you guys. what the little display says right now. All right, computer's restarting. And that's what it still says. And I now have a Fanatic wheel icon on my desktop. don't see anything about a fanatic wheel. I do not see anything about a fanatic wheel. I'm going to turn off the power back here real quick. Oh, you know why? Anyone know why? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> yeah, did you plug the USB into the PC? No, I didn't, CERN. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah. Expecting a lot from it, aren't I? Hey, what do you know? Two time. Fanatic Podium Wheelbase DD2. Fanatic Podium Wheelbase DD2. Says it two times now. Uh, we've seen that in the past from uh, the, the newer wheels with a lot of options where they have to actually consider it two items. Um, let's see what happens when we go to it. Firm DD2 firmware is not the latest one. Do you want to update? Yeah, sir, and I know about that. I'm just, uh, I'm going to do it without that first. Um, 
I tell you, I am, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm fairly afraid to do a firmware right now. Uh, I almost want to test it before. Uh, but we're going to. Update, yes. Um, I could probably... No, I'm not patched in. Okay, so... Start firmware updater. Come on, mouse. Click the connect button. Firmware preloaded. Device connected. Selected firmware V651 has been loaded successfully. Press flash firmware. Flash erased. Updating. 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 Restarting. Oh shit, am I gonna have to remember how to calibrate? Yes, damn it. Okay, so we can close the firmware updater. And Ah, I'm gonna have to look that up now. Great. I don't even make this wheel anymore. This one. Shit. All right, someone's gonna have to figure that out, or I'm gonna have to read into it. Um. Yes, I bought this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Click the two joysticks at the same time. That wasn't working. Um, this is the old one, not the carbon. But this covers this one. I don't get it. Why is it not working? Check in with you guys on this. Oh, there you go. Wheel center calibrated. Thank you. Um, enter the tuning. You know, if I just read the screen, I think. Thank you. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, next thing's next. Um, we didn't look at the menu options.
Set of one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go to setup one, sensitivity. Whoops. get in and try it out now. Let's get it mapped. So we're going to make it. We're going to be able to race with this wheel tonight. Uh, hosted event. Join a race. I'm going to need my keyboard here. Sorry. Yeah, I must be signed on to my other account. It won't need to download them, though. All right, we're going to get in and try it out real quick. But then what I really want to do is switch the stream to the other computer where you can see me and hear me uh, a lot better. So we're just going to do this just to verify it's working. Then we're going to shut down the stream, and then we're going to do our real racing video in our racing room, unfortunately, believe it or not, as crazy as that sounds. So let's uh, just get in there and get things mapped and confirm it's working, and hear and see and smell it for the first time. I'm on the wrong account. Whoops. <coughs> I can't see your guys' chat. I guess I could. You guys can probably barely hear me either. Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to get this up and running real quick. Then we're going to end this stream. I'm going to take about a 15-minute break. I'm going to switch everything over to this computer for streaming. And uh, what I'll probably do is maybe throw a second camera up so you can watch the wheel in action tonight uh, as well. Configure controls. All right. Turn the wheel one way. I just felt a very soft stop when I got to the end, by the way. It was almost hard to tell. feedback we're at 12 newton meters is what we're going to start with oh, i need some audio like zero force feedback almost. I mean, I can tell that it's on for sure.
Very smooth. No kind of like uh, detent at the center point or any of that kind of stuff. Really smooth like you expect. Very rigid at the same time. I feel a hint of flex. We'll have to see where that flex is and that lateral movement. It feels like it might be a little bit right here. Maybe we can tighten that down just a little bit more. I am feeling some of the bumps in the track. So you can see a little bit of the wiggle there in the wheel. That was the bumps in the track I was definitely feeling there. Not getting a lot of pull out of the truck as far as force feedback goes right now. Uh, definitely feeling that bump. Again, you saw that jumping around. That was all bump bumps or uh, big hits to the suspension. I mean, it's not completely off. Like I said, very, very light. Looking at our force factor, you can see we're well in the green right now. Not getting any hits. So let's go ahead and put it up into the wall. I saw a little flash of yellow there. Uh, so you're just getting on the edge of clipping. Uh, don't know how much... Um, Brandon's reminding me to check my Newton meters uh, and force feedback, so... Let's go and see. So wheel force is at one. Let's put this up to 5.6. It's been a little while since I had to play with the double toggles as the sim experience kind of takes over in that area. Thank you, Brandon. Right now, uh, I'll, to be honest with you, right now, the feeling that we're still, oh, we got a black flag. We're still still a long way from getting dialed in. This is just like, I turned it on. All I did in the tuning menu was put it to 900. All we did was put it at 12% force feedback with uh, 5.6 Newton meters on the bar. All right, we don't want to get DQ'd, so we're going to bring it in. Still uh, under normal, you can see we're getting the filling up that green bar a little bit on the, the force. No clipping, no end of the yellow. I'm still, I'd say at this point, I'm probably not far off from the amount. I think these trucks have a fair amount of power steering in them, if I'm not mistaken. try to crank it up a little bit more before we call this one an end. Uh, we got to serve that black flag anyway. So let's see here. Uh, set the max in Newton mirrors that you want your wheel, that your wheel can produce. Well, this is a big boy wheel. Uh, let's put it at 22. Let's see what happens. Now we still haven't put in the torque key. So right here it even tells me on the display, low torque. I don't know that I can notice any difference. I think with low torque, we might be below what our adjustments are doing at this point. Yeah, it feels almost the same. Still feeling the bumps. Not a lot of pull off center. So the center is just, you know, there's not a lot of center spring set into it right now. Definitely feeling a little bit of pull through the corners. See, I'm going to try to hold the wheel as light as possible right now so you can kind of just see what the wheel's wanting to do on its own.
Now, to be honest with you, with certain oval racing, I swear this is about the amount of force feedback I'd probably want. Maybe just a hair light. <sighs> We're about the power of a club sport, maybe lighter. The truck's not known for super heavy force feedback, though. <coughs> Tomorrow's testing, what we'll be doing is trying it in a variety of different cars and tracks and sims. Uh, for today, I, I got to practice for a race that's coming up in one hour. All right. Do we dare do the torque key? Should we throw the torque key in real quick? I get your guys' opinion on that as I want to log out of this room real quick. All right, it's been a while also since I really went through and tuned the settings. Uh, I'll have to go by memory on some things. Um, bang your head, torque key will drive you mad. All right. Um, let's see here. Yep, yep. More bells, more cowbell. Bell. All right, I think we're going to put the torque key in. So again, in order to do this, you guys can see and read it. Please read all safety guidelines to the manual before opening. By opening this and using this torque key, you agree to our terms and conditions. Uh, Robert, that's going to scroll off my screen before I can really figure it out. Um, check my texts. Which texts are we talking about, Brandon? Uh, Fanatic has recommended settings on their blog, huh? Okay, torque key. We're going with the torque key. Um, I want to get out of here first. Hold on. Uh, I can't remember which spot. Ah. So the torque key goes next to the E stop. I'm not going to give you any comparisons. I'll tell you it was smooth. It was fairly rigid in some ways, but I still need to look into why I felt just a little bit of flex. They said to turn this counterclockwise, and I have, and it just keeps kind of turning, it seems. Let's see if that's any better. Caution, torque key inserted. Please read the manual guidelines for safety. All right. We're not going to do that. We're just going to dive right in. Um, I'm on the wrong Discord account. That's why I can't check those messages right now. Um, See him, Brandon. All 
Alright. I know what else I want to do. I'm going to bring on your guys' chat over here. Bear with me one more second. Now I can see what you guys are saying. Uh, I don't know. Something's not right. All right. Thanks, Brandon. Now it does say high torque right there. It's definitely stronger. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Still no clipping too under normal usage. See if I can pull that up on my phone, Brandon. There we go. Now we got some power. Uh, now it feels good. Maybe just a, a touch stronger than I would want. Um, you know, we're not going to fingertip it like this. That's for sure, right? Ah, test the past, yes. Now, right now, we're running this at quite a bit of power. So let's go ahead and try those settings real quick. Um, I am going to have to bring this stream to an end because I do have that race coming up and... 45 minutes and I need to prep things. We're gonna we're gonna stream that race so we can talk about the wheel uh, Yeah, oh, it's way strong now. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, Profile one sensitivity 1080 I'm gonna stick with 900 <coughs> Force feedback 100. Oh, we are way low. Oh Look at that. I feel it cranking right there In fact, we're gonna want to get out of the car to finish this off um, ABS won't matter. Uh, let's see, show 100. All right, ABS, we don't care. 100 force, 100. Yeah, spring 100, damper 100, NDP 100. Awesome, thank you so much. Test the pest. And FR. These are new titles. And three VRF, FEI, ninety. And three VFR. Okay. All right. Let's try that out. We are generating some power. Okay, this is too much. But now what, what I would do is now turn it down in iRacing, probably. Uh, yeah, now we're talking a beast of strength. Oh, I can't even do that one-handed. Oh, that bump kick hurt. 
I felt a little flex out of everything. Read the rest. <laughs> yeah, I need to turn it down into the sim for sure. We're starting to sweat. Oh, that bump is so horrible. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, okay. We're gonna turn it down in the sim, and then we're gonna set things up for the race stream. You wanna hear more about the wheel, you're gonna have to watch tonight's race, cause uh, yeah, as you can see, everybody's already, uh, uh, okay. Wheel range and map range automatically determined by calibration wizard. Use linear mode, check reduced force when parked. All right, let's, oh, thank you. Awesome, doing my homework for me. Um, okay, so linear mode, boom, check reduced force when parked, yes, check strength, six. Twenty-five Newton meters. Zero minimum force. Okay, awesome. That's what we've got. Test the past. You rock, buddy. Yeah, that's what I do with all my wheels as well. All right, now what I'm feeling is a lot out of the track, as you can see. And the force feedback is good and strong, but not tearing my arms out. And this is where I would play with that 6% to get it to where I was as comfortable as can be. Boom, I was trying to read. Okay, but that's okay, we're gonna switch over anyway. Uh, Cranky, is that different, or Kevin, is that different than what we just did? <laughs> yeah, so true. So true. Actually, I forgot to turn this on. Okay, so what we're going to do, I need to turn everything around. It's only 40 minutes till race time. This is insane. I need to get this computer in streaming mode. I need to get an extra camera over there so you can watch the wheel in action and get everything set up for that. So at this point, I need to bring this stream to a close. We got it installed. We got the software installed. We got it dialed in or tuned in to an extent with your guys' help. Um, and, uh, it looks like we are in good enough shape to, uh, uh, at least run this race. Uh, I definitely will want to, uh, make some changes and dial it in, work with that force feedback a little bit, maybe do a little bit of that during, uh, the practice and warm up if I can get back here quick enough to do that. I have to remember to log in with my other account and that's also going to, uh, mean that I have to recalibrate everything as well. Um... So anyway, uh, we will be back on the air at about 6 o'clock. That'll be just in time for qualifying. That's 44 zero minutes from now. And uh, if you want to see it in action during some real racing, as soon as, actually, I'll go on before that during practice. As soon as I can get everything dialed in and ready to go again, 
I'll get back on the air. So um, let me just get some things taken care of, do some homework or business over here, and we'll get our next stream, which will be uh, really important because I'm going to be racing. It'll be against uh, everybody in the Simpit Truck Series, our final practice race of the week. And hey, Tamia, how you doing? Tamia USA. Uh, is that you, Fred? Is that you, Fred? Fred, did you get one of these? I know you're a fanatic guy, but I think you might have stopped sim racing as much as you used to. Um, Jerry Watson. Um, yes. Oh, you know what? I didn't send anything out. I got to send something to the group. All right, you guys. I got to get uh, to work on everything going on. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks you for your help in finding those settings. You got it a lot faster than I would have been able to find it while on the air. Um, and we will uh, see how it works during the race in just a matter of moments. So thank you for being here once again. We'll be back on the air in just a little while. Hey, Fred, how you doing? I was sick and didn't get to Long Beach this year. I, I look forward to seeing you every year when I go to Long Beach and you weren't there. Uh, so, oh, cool, cool. Awesome, Fred. Um, so anybody who doesn't know, that's my good buddy, uh, Fred. Uh, pretty much runs the whole Tamiya USA uh, program. And uh, always been a big sim racer as well, big BMW fan. So welcome to the show, Fred. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on the air in probably just about 15 or 20 minutes with everything turned around into race mode. And we'll throw an extra camera on things today uh, so that you can watch over my shoulder and see the wheel actually in action on the stream. So uh, give me some time to get that set up and I'll be back on the air. That's going to do it for this one. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole and I'll see you on the track.